So I don't know if we can see or not. But there is an egg in this cell. So this is a swarm cell. It's on the bottom of the frame. It's laid on purpose by the queen with the intent to split the colony. Um, here in the Pacific Northwest, our blackberry bloom has just started. That means lots of nectar coming in very fast. That will plug a box quickly. So if you were in it last week and you had five empty frames in there, by the middle of next week, you may have no empty frames. When they recognize that big flow coming in that is going to plug the box up, they start to make swarm cells. So you need to be watching for them very closely right now. It also is the time of year they want to do that. Some want to swarm more than others. So if you've got a colony that just thinks it's time to swarm, even if they're not full, they can try and, and succeed. Um, so, so it's time to keep an eye on that. Watch them real close. Um, tear those out. You know, get them extra room. Get some supers on them. Um, because there's that, that nectar comes in at 80% water. Even if it's only going to be a few frames of honey when they're done, when they bring it in, it's 12 frames of, of uh, nectar. So it fills those spaces quickly as they start drying it down. So it's just something to keep an eye on at this time. Most of my colonies are down pretty pretty low and I don't have a problem with it, but again, any of them can do it. So keep an eye out, uh, get through your stuff, look for those, they're, they're on the bottom. It's been a horrible year for queens. Uh, a lot of bad, uh, you know, first round queens coming out of California. Um, I even heard reports of some bad ones coming out of Hawaii. Um, they're just not getting mated well. So there's been lots of super seizure going on also. Uh, keep an eye for that. Um, you can either let them go ahead and supersede. Obviously they don't like the queen. Or you can tear the super seizure cells out. Get the queen out of there. Make sure you're hopelessly queenless. And requeen the colony with a mated queen. Um, you know everything you do is a gamble. It takes time for a, a queen to hatch come back mated start you know having brood come out to help her um, it's a it, it's quite a bit of time so it can set a colony way back here in the Pacific Northwest where we have a very short uh, season for the bees so you, you need to make that call and there's a percentage that will never come back mated so now your colony has sat there a long time without a queen um, anyway just stuff to keep an eye on this time of year guys